the donkey of the day. Look at these donkeys, donkeys, bunch of that's pretty funny. Charlemagne the devil? <laughs> the Breakfast Club. Yes. Donkey of the day for Friday, December 8th goes to Drea Michelle. Good morning, Drea. Uh, how are you this morning? Now, I missed all of this on social media yesterday, but I was alerted to it this morning by our trusty staff. Drea got slandered viciously yesterday on social media because she was complaining about signing her son's homework. Now, as the father of a beautiful nine-year-old princess, I know what a tedious task signing homework can be. I mean, most of the time it requires one signature next to the date of the homework, and then you have to initial next to each grade. Takes about 25 to 30 seconds. Very, very, very draining activity. But when you're a parent, you have to do it. By the way, I'm being sarcastic. I know people don't understand sarcasm anymore, so let me say that because I know someone already sent off a tweet saying Charlemagne said signing your kid's homework is draining. He trash. Anyway, Drea decided to share with social media yesterday that her son was upset over lost points on an assignment. See, his project required extensive practice on a speech and needed her signature every time. Uh, her son has been reciting the speech up to two times a day for a month, and Drea says she's tired of hearing it. Now, I don't know how y'all parent, but I'm the type of parent who tells their child to do their homework. And when I don't see her do doing her homework, I asked her, do you have homework? If so, why aren't you doing it, okay? My daughter was just in a school play last month, Peter Pan. She was a lost boy. She had lines. I listened to those lines often, okay? Didn't matter what I was doing or when I was doing it. If baby girl wants to recite those lines to me, I got to listen because I'm a parent. And that's my job. Parents don't have time off. Do you have time off, Envy? No. No timeouts, okay? If you got kids, then you know it's no breaks. Being a parent is a full-time job until the kids go to sleep, all right? But not to Drea. Drea actually posted this. Let's discuss this. Uh, Nico, that's her son, has this four-minute speech he has to memorize and recite. Fine, splendid. Now his teacher is requiring me to sign papers every day, saying he's read the speech five times out loud and stuff. Over Thanksgiving break, I had to sign 18 times, and now it's still every day. Here's my point. I'm all for helping my child with his homework, but at this point, she has him harassing me with this speech. I don't want to hear it no more. I'm hearing it two times a day for a month's grade. I'm finna memorize it. Not to mention the topic <laughs> is about how American history isn't present as much in college education. So, you can imagine what a snooze this thing is. Last night, he asked me to sign and I said no. Tell your teacher I'm done with this. And now today he doesn't get points because I don't want to sign it. It's not my damn homework, but it feels like. What y'all think? I think you a damn fool, Dre. <laughs> Alright? Okay. I, I hate to do this, but when I read this I immediately thought about 2011 when you were uh, arrested for endangering the welfare of a child. Now, if you don't know this story, according to the Red and Eagle, a seven-year-old boy was coming home from school to an empty apartment and spending nights alone while his mother worked in Philly. The boy told police that he could... He would get off the bus most days and wait for someone to leave or enter the gated parking garage under the apartment complex so he could get into the building. His mother, Andrea M. Howard, 25, would leave the apartment door unlocked and microwave dinners in the freezer form. Police found the seven-year-old boy in a disheveled apartment on December 16th at 2 a.m. after the boy called 911 and told dispatchers he was home alone. The Reading Eagle said the apartment looked like it had been ransacked. With women's undergarments scattered throughout the living room, a small dog was in a cage, and dog feces and dog dog urine were in several places in the apartment. This was probably one of those times where the dog ate my homework excuse would actually work. Now, Dre claimed at the time all of this wasn't true. And I don't know if it's true or not. All I know is if you have been accused of this kind of neglect before, you have to go above and beyond to show the world that you are indeed a great parent and taking care of your kids, okay? Doing all you can for them and getting on social media telling the world that your child's teacher is harassing you because she has your child doing homework and studying and asking you to simply sign that they are doing the homework and you are annoyed because of that? You're annoyed because your child is asking you to help him with his homework every day? That's not going to win you any Parent of the Year awards, okay? Now, Drea also sent a message to someone, IG, someone on Instagram saying, I'm not annoyed of signing. I'm annoyed of him feeling the need to read it to me every day. <laughs> I am so confused wow. by this. See, personally, I don't get annoyed when my daughter asks me to do her homework. I get anxiety, okay? I get frustrated. 
All right, because that fourth grade math is no joke. Listen, I'm dumb. It is so damn difficult. I'm dumb. It though? I am dumb, okay? I have a principle in my book, Black Privilege, called Give People the Credit They Deserve for Being Stupid, Including Yourself. I know I'm not smart enough for fourth grade lessons, and I want to help my daughter with her homework, but some of it's too difficult for me. So that's when I tag in my partner, my wife, the college-educated woman in the house, to hold this down. But never have I felt harassed by my child's homework. You know why? Because I'm a parent, Drea. Just like I don't feel harassed when I have to feed them, hug them when they cry, change the diapers, drive them to cheerleading practice, play dates. None of that feels like harassment to me because I realize that as a parent, it's not about me anymore. Andrea, that's what you have to realize. It's not about you, boo. You have the nerve to say it's not my damn homework, but it feels like it. It is your homework because that's your child. You are raising that young man. That's yours. Nobody feels sympathy for you. You should be encouraging your child to study. You should be glad he has the discipline to rehearse that speech every day. You complain about having to help, you know, the child with the homework. So what if you help your child with their homework? Do you want to get extra credit for that? I went to see Deacon Rock last last night at the Garden, all right? Chris Rock, that is. And he gave us a 90-minute sermon that was worth every bit of the 10% of my salary. And like my Chris, and like Chris Rock... He gives you these jewels that either hit you in the moment or hit you 20 years later. Dre, Chris Rock, Deacon Rock gave us a jewel 21 years ago and bring the pain that applies to you now. Let's hear it. You know what the worst thing about niggas? Niggas always want some credit for some shit they supposed to do. <laughs> for some shit they just supposed to do. A nigga will brag about some shit a normal man just does. A nigga will say some shit like, I take care of my kids. You're supposed to be a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> You don't get no points for taking care of your kids. You're supposed to. And you don't get no sympathy. And you can't complain when you're doing basic everyday things with your kids like their homework. <laughs> because you're supposed to. Drea, I get the feeling your son calls you by your first name and calls his grandma mama. Okay, look, I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to tell you that anyone can have a child and call themselves a parent. But a real parent is someone who puts that child above their own selfish needs and wants. Once again... Anyone can have a child and call themselves a parent, but a real parent is someone who puts that child above their own selfish needs and wants. Okay? Okay. Please give Dre and Michelle the sweet sounds of the Hamilton's, please. You are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. How old was his son? Uh, he was seven in 2011. I told y'all I can't do math. So how old is he now? Um, that was uh, six years ago. So yes, that made him 13. Okay. Oh, so 13. All right. Yeah, you know what? At 13, uh, my son would be signing my signature himself. I'd be like, go ahead, read it, and then sign it yourself. Jesus Christ. Now you're going to teach him how to forge things? What call, now, do I need to give you dog? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Listen, I'm all, I want to discuss this, all right? Because maybe I'm confused about a few things. You know what I'm saying? I'm new to this parenting thing. I got a nine-year-old and a two-year-old. I ain't been doing it forever. That's not new. I, you're not, you've been in here nine years. <laughs> <laughs> That's not new. <laughs> 